Well, these new and these different materials certainly have uh, implications not only for repair, um, from the tooling required to certainly the training and repair guidelines. Um, from, from what you've seen, do you think the industry is ready for these materials from everything from the damage appraiser through the technicians to owners? The problem with that is that was an unpainted, clear-coated carbon fiber hood. And there's no way that we or anybody else could repair that hood. You could repair it perfectly structurally and smoothly and aerodynamically, but it'll still look like it's been repaired. There's no way to repair that structure any more than you could take a, a steel body panel that was unpainted and bash it in and repair it and have the repair invisible. You'd know where that repair was done. And the same thing's true with carbon fiber. If it's unpainted, gloss-coated, clear-coated, there's no way to repair those without having the repair show forever. Now, if it's painted, that's a different structure. If it's painted, it's just like a regular car. After the repair, you do body work and paint it, and it'll be invisible. So that was one of the problems on that McLaren, is that was a clear-coated hood. And there really was no way to repair that cosmetically. Sure. But structurally, it was a piece of cake. Right, right. That's a very good question. We work mainly with automakers, um, helping them develop the right repair procedures, and we rely on them to proliferate that throughout the repair community. Um, however, we also share information at conferences, and we are um, actually creating a training module. We have a training program for advanced high strength steel, and we're adding a portion on repair to help enhance that. Jason, I think you know my answer to that question. <laughs> you, I, I am truly impressed with the efforts of ICAR. And, and I did, for anybody listening, I didn't get paid to say this. I think ICAR does a fabulous job of training technicians and, and managers in the repair industry to do the job right. And I've been to a lot of repair shops over the last five or six years. and. I see a real sincere dedication to doing the job right and using the tools. Uh, and the training ICAR and, and the OEMs provide is just indispensable. I think right now the capacity to repair new materials is more than, this, more than is required today in the marketplace to meet all the needs of the market. But that need is growing very quickly. So there's nothing wrong with being a little bit ahead of the push. But uh, I, I think the, the training systems, uh, I think a lot of industries could learn a lot from what the, the ICAR and the audio industry have put together.